just a reminder, just your name and address is all you need to say. We'll come on down to the station. It's a charge and a fine at most. 110 bucks. Yeah. I'll grab my gear. I'll grab my gear anyway. Yeah. Move away. I'm moving. I'm moving. I'm documenting you doing your duties. Okay, well, document me for the. Oh, I thought I'm done. Yeah, listen, there's flowers by the Political signs. Yes. Why is that? Can you move away, please? Why is that? Because this is a legitimate protest, and you can't remove our political signs. This is illegal. Can you move away, please? Just to let you know. Okay. Have you been told to leave the area? You haven't told me to leave the area. Yeah. Will you be removing our political funds? Matt here from Occupy Sydney. I'm um, just giving you an update. This morning at around 6.30, the police arrived, about 30 police with wagons, and they immediately started arresting those of us that were here. There are six people that were arrested. Um, there are obviously the regulars, um, some homeless people, and um, one international backpacker. They're currently being held at the rocks. Um, there are still some people here, um, a small collection of us that are maintaining the site. Um, we've managed to um, get back some of people's personal belongings and um, we've uh, arranged for cars to come and pick them up. The plan for today is probably to um, go down to the Rocks police station as soon as we can to wait for those people that are in custody. If they don't, if they aren't released, we'll probably likely go to court um, and wait for them there to be um, to receive bail. And at the moment, uh, we're probably looking to get people together as soon as possible to decide on where we um, move on from here. Um, but of course, this is certainly not over. At 6.30 this morning, uh, New South Wales Police again used a, um, a Disneyland interpretation of, uh, of uh, council ordinances to um, to steal more of our property and uh, and destabilise our three-month-old protest. Um, look, their, their substantial point this time um, is that we are staying overnight. We've uh, we've managed to circumvent that in the past by simply not being here uh, by any definition of overnight. Um, and 
uh, and we intend to do, we that have been charged intend to defend the charges vigorously on the basis of that. One uh, one interesting thing that's been happening with Occupy Sydney and the police uh, is that the police have been trying to impose bail conditions which are punitive, and uh, we we have real concerns that the police are able to meet out um, their own punishments before cases are. Um, uh, appear before a judge, before they're defended, um, before the police put any evidence up whatsoever. So in other words, hypothetically, they are just able to absolutely contrive a situation, um, make it subject to court proceedings and demand um, extraordinary bail conditions. Um, they've recently been using, uh, using bail, uh, they in a recent Westpac action which was nowhere near Martin Place, they nevertheless excluded one of our people from Martin Place um, by making that a condition of her, of her bail conditions. Look, um, this, this is an absolutely unfair use of, of law. Um, it's, it's, not, uh, it's not part of what justice is understood to be by normal Australians. And um, whether you agree with Occupy Sydney, whether you agree with protesters or not, this is your rights being undermined as well as ours. And we are not, we are emphatically not going to lie down and see those rights trampled over by a police force that seem intent and hell-bent on applying summary justice. Just in regard, some of the media that we talk to, they're they use deceptive trickery and verbal gymnastics to put us into a position where we have to answer their questions. So one of them is, do you think that you've made your point after 111 days? And I would posit to that that you've been killing, our governments have been killing people in Iraq for 3,000 days. Have they made their point? Uh, Goldman and Sachs and the Federal Reserve have been printing, they've printed up to $18 trillion. Have they made their point? BP spilled almost a million barrels of oil in the Gulf of Mexico. Did they make their point? We need to kind of ask for more from our media instead of just these stupid, stupid puppets that they put on the TV, they try and sell us products, and there's no discourse that's happening in this country. Thank you. Occupy Sydney are and will be rebuilding our occupation from tonight. And if the police come and smash that, we'll build two then three, then four, until they get absolutely sick or the public deauthorise them from applying summary law before the courts have the chance to determine whether they are right or wrong. And you should note that in a previous case on very, very similar charges, the judge did rule that there was no case to answer. So there's a fair chance that there's no case to answer on anything else they put up.